Hi, my name is Jessica Smith. I'm the Membership Services Manager here at Sabre. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this month's Member Benefit Spotlight. While a lot of our members would consider themselves general fans and consumers of baseball, Sabre is also home to many authors and researchers, and if that's you, we want to make sure you have the right tools to promote your work with other Sabre members. There are a few different ways to do that, and I'll walk you through some of those today. Most of what we're going to look at today is already compiled for you on the website. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen and I'll show you that. All right, so um, under the publications tab, we're going to scroll all the way down to the get involved section. And then I'm going to click on guide to promoting your baseball book through Sabre. Um, and here, like I mentioned, are some of the things we're going to talk about today, but just in case you want to go back and look at them in writing later, it is on the website available to you. So if you have recently published a baseball book, our first suggestion is to add it to the Sabre bookshelf. You can do that by clicking on this link here, and then it'll take you to the Sabre bookshelf page. This list is updated periodically. You can see here some examples of other books written by Sabre members. And if you would like to add your work to this list, you can do so by emailing our director of editorial content, Jacob Palmerinke at jpalmerinke at sabre.org. All right, let me head back out. And I will say that this list is for baseball books only. So if you have um, a journal article or a magazine article, hold on to that and we will cover um, some ways to publish those later. So next, um, our next recommendation for showcasing your work, any work this time, um, is to present it at a research committee or a local chapter meeting. Our groups are often looking for guest speakers for their scheduled meetings, and it's a great way to start getting your work out there to other Sabre members. Um, additionally, many of our groups publish newsletters as well, and they'll ask for submissions for those newsletters from their members, so keep an eye out for those opportunities. You can take a look at all of our research committees here under the community tab if you think your work falls under um, one of these groups. Or you can contact your local chapter leader um, to see if you can present at an upcoming chapter meeting or um, publish your work in one of their newsletters. All right. So a good way to promote an article um, is to submit it to be included in our weekly newsletter, This Week in Sabre. Um, this Week in Sabre is sent out to all Sabre members Friday, and all issues are archived on the website as well. Um, let me show you where those are. So under latest news here on the right, click on that, and then scroll down until you see this newsletter section. You can view previous issues here. We'll just click on last week's. And this week in Sabre features um, a section called Around the Web. Let me find it for you. Almost there. There we go. All right, so in this section, we feature articles written by Sabre members that have been published on other outlets other than sabre.org. And you can see some of those examples here in last week's newsletter. Um, if you'd like to include your week in, or your work, excuse me, in the weekly newsletter, you can email the link again to Jacob Pomerinke at jpomerinke at sabre.org. All right, we'll head back out to the homepage again. So another way to publish an article through Sabre is by submitting it for the next edition of the Baseball Research Journal. Um, and you can do so by clicking on publications again. We'll scroll all the way back down to the bottom of the page again to the get involved section, except this time we're going to click on ongoing writing opportunities. And then here you'll click on the second bullet point that says click here to submit an article for an upcoming baseball research journal. So the BRJ is our flagship publications. We put out two editions each year. And you can submit your article here. Um, you can also see guidelines and requirements to doing so. But please note, as of right now, we are um, not accepting submissions through January 2025. So if you're looking to go this route through the BRJ, come back in February 2025, um, and you can upload your work then. All right, going back out, 
one last time, go back to the home page. Okay, the last option I'm going to talk about today is presenting your work at a conference or the annual convention. Um, you can visit our events page here, click on events, to see all of our national meetings. Um, and then if you go ahead and click learn more underneath each event, you can see more information and if we're currently accepting abstracts. So this is for the 2025 analytics conference in March 2025. And you can see here that we are accepting abstracts right now. Um, and the deadline to submit will be November 20th, 2024. You can do so just by clicking on that link in the bullet point. Um, if you haven't checked out our events, we have such a wide range from analytics to 19th century, um, the Negro League Conference and the Women in Baseball Conference, and then, of course, annual convention. So there's definitely a place to showcase your work here. Um, our biggest event each year is our annual convention, and presentation proposals for that will open around January 2025 for next year's convention in Dallas. All right, so hopefully you now have some outlets to promote your own baseball research within Sabre. But if you have any questions about anything covered in this video or any other ways you found to share your work, please don't hesitate to reach out to a Sabre staff member. Our mission is to foster the study of baseball past and present, and we're here to help you do that. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.